gates of Siwa. What was her name? Which battle are you talking about? You have not had! Oh, my friend, then you are in for a treat! Let me tell you how it happened! Legend has it, the noble Greek captain and the Egyptian goddess sailed from Alexandria's Golden Coast in search of the feared Gabiniani fleet. With only their sturdy trireme and loyal crew against the Gabiniani's fabled warships. Floating mountains carrying 10,000 men bristling with oars and fire. Where are these mongrel Gabiniani? My informant assured me they would pass here. A throttle is scrawny neck, he told me wrong. Who are the Gabiniani? Where do they come from? Exiles of Rome who took Egypt home in the ruthlessness of Ptolemy. Worthy opponents for the likes of us. Well, we have to stop them before they can join Ptolemy's fleet. We'll find them, Aya. Descend into ruin. Not one of this salt soaked hot. There! Is that their whole fleet? Poseidon's peace, no, woman. That's only part of their full strength. The lesser part by the looks. Try reams only. There's no sign of their damn octory. This works in our favor. We can work them down, ship by ship. Strike us and ready your boats. We attack! Keep the quarter, men! These devils will give us none! We have a hot city! How will we face it? Show no fear, Damastis! They've not met our kind before! Their floated barge won't save them! Speed, more speed! Arm! Yeah. The galley speed! Fire! Fire! Let's two down! himself would not claim so many. You must not doubt me! I was told it by someone who saw it happen! Captain, we bested them! The Gabiniani are finished! Don't be hasty, boy! My spies gave me a greater number than that! They must have split their fleet! We should head east. Straight into the jaws of the crocodile, if your spies tell the truth! Ha <laughs> ha What of it? I've wrestled more fearsome beasts! And none were a match for our captain! <laughs> your bravado will be your undoing, captain. And ours. As if rising from the very depths of the underworld, a second bristling wall of hulls appeared. This time, an unbelievable 40 Gabiniani death ships faced our lone heroes. Then another ship rolled behind the fleet, the size of which has never been seen before or since. Ten thousand warriors crowded its massive deck, smashing sword and spear against brazen shield. This may have been the largest fleet ever to sail the Mediterranean. Silence! Fell like fog. Suddenly, one hundred balls of fire leapt up from the Gabiniani... From the fog, it is like a nightmare. Ah, don't let their tricks trouble you, Damascus. It's a rule to shake our nerves. They gain nothing by it. The heroics were spectacular. They fought like gods. But it was all to no avail. Yet, more ships appeared. A vast burning armada of war bore down the them as it sent from Mars itself. Victory! Fire Moon! Well done! 
el canon! ¡Oh, la, 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 la! ¡And that is the game! Foxidas and the goddess sailed into legend over the backs of ten times ten thousand drowned Gaviniani. I tell you, I weep just to tell of it. And they say, if you whisper a prayer into a wave or a fold of the sea, you can hear their war cry answer back. Alala! Alala! And that is how it happened. To a word. What a tale. If the goddess name was Aya, and a goddess she truly is. That may be the only honest part of the story. What is truth? All is permitted in the realm of greatness. One must believe in the act of creation, or else they will join the Gabiniani. You are a fine storyteller, Seni. Though, I cannot tell if you are playing a game with me, or telling a story. They are one and the same, my friend. Married to each other, like the oceans and the rain. Alala! You see it now! <laughs> hey, why are you burning the dead? Don't you fear the gods? Their souls will be forever cursed. I'm sorry to do it, but I have no choice in this. The gods themselves have afflicted us with a pestilence. The dead must be burned to save the living. What pestilence? Is there a plague? Truly, I don't know. Elders have begun falling sick. Children have died clutching their bellies in agony as their parents watch on, lifeless in their beds. This would be cruel, even for the angriest of gods. No one cares about us. Any help would be appreciated. In the Fayum, the poor aren't worth spit. Here. My children, your hunger is known. Turn to Sobek for your nourishment. Another dead farmer whose family will now lose their land. These bones are filthy. They used to eat at the arms the kitchen in the been market. Eating? But soldiers began harassing Must have the food stored somewhere. Greek merchants said they were bad for business. should have a look around. There are no signs of a plague on the body. This food is rancid. It smells like shit. It's completely unfit for eating. This gruel is not fit for rats, let alone people. The strong spices are not for taste. They are disguising the rot. I need to talk with whoever made it. Sobek has provided a way. Though the food is humble, it gives life. Tell me about the food you eat. Where does it come from? A merchant makes it for the poor here. It's not much, but at least it's something. We're thankful. You're welcome to try some. By the gods, no. I do not know how you stomach it. I need to talk to the merchant. Where can I find him? His house is to the south of the town market. I can take you. Let's visit this merchant of yours. I will follow you. May Sobek reward you for helping. I've passed many prosperous farms. People here seem to be doing well. Why are there so many poor? Ah, yes. Those are Greek farms. The Greeks pay lower taxes, so they prosper. Meanwhile, the Egyptian farmers are slowly forced from their lands. What happens to the land when the farmers leave? Once the owners die, by law the land is freed. If it's good land, the Greeks take it. If not, the desert takes it. Either way, Egyptians are left to starve. Many end up in the slums. Oh, 
We're his. We're idiots. This is the home of the merchant who provides the food. Even the cats here look better fed than the poor. The arms seem to be equal. Some are just more equal than others. This is awful! No wonder people are falling sick. Who would do this? It is time we met this poisonous merchant. Give him a taste of his own cooking. How may I help you? This is my home. Are you lost? You can explain to me why you have been poisoning the poor. My guess is so you can take their land. It is easy if they are dead. You're referring to the trouble in the slums? Whatever you've heard, I assure you, you misunderstand. I do what I can to help. I have seen your kitchen, merchant. I know what you are doing. And I will see that you are brought to justice. Oh, I see. Well, that changes things. Now, you're trespassing, and I have the right to protect myself. Men! Time to die. If you are reasonable, I wouldn't have to do this! This merchant of death was murdering the poor for their land. His love of money was their real sickness. Fayum won't miss him. The dead can rest. There will be no more burning.